Hello students. In this video, we will be starting Unit 3 of Prose, The Child Who Saved the Forest. As a warm-up activity, let us try to do this activity task 1. Form a big circle. Start running in the circle. The teacher will say the name of an animal. If it is the name of a wild animal, clap twice. If it is the name of a domestic animal, clap once. We can try to do this activity through this video. I will say the name of an animal. You need to sit down or stand up and clap twice if it is a wild animal and clap once if it is a domestic animal. For example, if I say lion, you need to clap twice. Got it? Now let's begin. Lion Cow Cat Tiger Buffalo Sheep Fox Wolf Elephant So that's the end of that activity. How many did you get right? You can go back, play the video again if you want to play it again. Now the second task is discuss in pairs how forests are useful to us. Later, mention at least two things that forests give us under each category. One has been done for you. So here we have different categories like food items, shelter to animals, fuel and other things. And we have to fill up these blanks by giving out examples where forests give us these categories. For example, food items, forest gives us fruits. What else do forests give us? We can say that forests give us certain barks which are edible and also they can be medicinal. So forests, they give us some food materials that are not just edible, but also some of them are medicinal in use. Now, what else do forests give us that can be classified as food? There is a type of plants called as mushrooms. So mushrooms, they are very well known to grow in forests and they can also be consumed as food. So forests, they give us barks which are medicinal and mushrooms. Next, shelter to animals. So where and all in the forest can animals take shelter? Animals can live in den. For example, wild animals like lions and bears, they are known to live in caves. Forest also has a large number of trees and trees are homes for varieties of animals. Animals which live in trees, they are called as... So, arboreal animals are those animals which live in trees. You may have known that monkeys and birds are two such animals which spend most of their time in trees. Another such example you can see here are koalas. Koalas are primarily found in Australia and they are also arboreal animals. So monkeys, as we know, they are arboreal. Next, we have uh, many types of lizards, including chameleons, which also live in trees. And we also have tree squirrels. All these are examples of animals which live in trees. So coming back to our lesson, a forest provides shelter to animals with their dense trees. And where is another place where animals majorly live in forests? There are many answers to this question, but for now, let us take the example of lakes. Forests have many lakes inside them and lakes are homes for different organisms, including fish and different types of plant animals. Next, we have fuel and other things. So fuel, for example, we get firewood from forests. What else can we get from forests? Another natural resource that we get from forest is oxygen. So oxygen we get from forest because trees produce oxygen. 
what else do we get from forest is forests are essential for so forests are needed for maintaining a balance in the water cycle so that rain happens in time and we get sufficient rainfall so these are the things that forests give us now we have completed both the tasks let us start with the story the story is about prem prem lived with his parents in a small village near bandipur forest bandipur forest is a national park in karnataka so here is an image that is uh, a photograph that is taken in bandipur forest so prem he is a little boy who lived with his parents in a village near bandipur forest where did prem and his parents live they lived in a small village near bandipur forest he had the good habit of taking an evening walk in the forest so taking walks is good for your health as you get exercise and fresh air after some days he became friendly with the animals and birds in the forest so prem our friend he lived in near a forest and he had a very good habit of going on walks as he went to walks frequently he used to meet animals and birds and soon he became friendly with the animals and birds of the forest one day he came from school looking sad his mother asked what is the matter prem so one day our friend prem he is sad why is he sad let's find out his mother asks him what is the matter so whenever you're sad your friends and family they will get to know immediately here prem's mother gets to know and she is asking him the, what the matter is he replied ma i have heard that many trees in the forest will be cut down where will the animals and birds go if the trees are cut so the reason why prem is sad is because he has heard somewhere in his school that many trees in the forest are going to be cut down now the reason why he is worried is if the trees are cut down where will his friends that is the animals and birds go so we just learned that forest provide shelter to numerous plants and animals and birds so if we go on cutting down the trees those animals and birds they will become homeless so where will the birds and animals go if we go on cutting down the forest this is why prem is sad he is worried about his friends here we can see a picture this is prem and he is in the forest maybe on one of his evening walks and you can see all the animals and birds who are friendly with him go on take some time and try to name all these animals and birds next his mother knew that prem loved trees birds animals and flowers so she said why don't you go to the forest with your friend nisreen find out what has happened exactly so like all our parents his mother knows just what advice to give prem she says go to the forest with your friend nisreen before you worry about this more try to find more information so this is a very good advice whenever you are worried about something what you need to do is make sure you get the help of someone who is close to you and try to find out more about whatever it is you worried about so his mother is suggesting him to go to the forest with his friend and find out what exactly has happened prem took his friend nisreen with him to the forest they walked to their most favorite place in the forest so prem and his friend nisreen both of them they go to the forest and where do they go they go to their most favorite place in the forest as they sat on the rock and looked around so there is a rock in their favorite place as they are sitting there hira the deer came sprinting towards them so hira is the name of the deer prem and his friend they have named the deer maybe they have named the other animals also but the name of the deer is hira so hira the deer it came sprinting towards them sprinting is like running where you are not always keeping both your feet on the ground 
instead you're sort of jumping and running so the deer it came sprinting towards them nisreen asked prem what's the matter why is the deer looking sad whenever you get to know an animal well you will be able to tell whenever it's feeling sad angry or happy now nisreen and prem they are very friendly with the animals so she gets to know that there is something wrong and the deer is looking sad so she is asking prem what's the matter prem replied that the trees in the forest would soon be cut down and hira must have heard about this both thought for a while about where these animals would go so prem thinks that hira is hira has heard somewhere that the trees are going to be cut down which is why the deer is sad so now both nisreen and prem they are thinking for a while about what to do after they have gotten to know the information the next thing to do is make a plan okay then prem looked at nisreen and asked how can we stop the cutting down of trees nisreen replied we will approach the authorities concerned to stop the cutting down of trees so now they have come up with a plan what they are going to do is they are going to approach the authorities concerned to stop the cutting down of trees then both of them are very happy and return to prem's house so both of them they became happy and they are satisfied with the plan so they return to prem's house here we can see prem hira the deer and his friend nasri prem told his mother about their plan prem asked his mother but who shall we complain to now they both know what to do but they don't know who to complain to so prem is taking the help of an elder that is his mother and he is asking her but who shall we complain to mother replied of course to the president of grama sabha so grama sabha of their village is a local government body which is elected okay so all the people in the village they come together and they elect their grama sabha and the grama sabha is concerned with local governing matters so mother suggests to prem to write to the president of grama sabha and then prem wrote a letter to the president of grama sabha and requested his parents and their friends to sign on it so what prem is doing is that he is submitting a petition so this is the new word for you all petition petition is a request that is submitted to a government body and a petition is usually signed by a number of people suggesting that whatever the matter at hand is it has the support of all those people so prem instead of going alone with his friend nasreen what they decide to do is they decide to get the help of their parents and friends this shows that the matter has support of the general public so they got all their parents and friends to sign the petition and they also took the signatures of the people in the local community and those residing in nearby villages so there's another word that i want to introduce to you all and that is the word stakeholder so stakeholder is generally used in a business context it refers to the person who shares in the profits and losses of any business endeavor but in our case in nature whatever happens we are all the stakeholders if this there's something good that is happening in nature we will reap the benefits if there is something bad happening in nature because of our, of human made effects then we will share the losses in this case what prem did is he went to all the stakeholders who would get affected if the trees were cut down so who does get affected if the trees are cut down is people who are surrounding the forest so he took all their signatures he took the signatures of the local community and those residing in nearby villages we can consider them all to be stakeholders and prem sent a letter to the president of grama sabha very soon he got a reply from the president of grama sabha so he sent the letter requesting to stop the cutting down of trees he took the support from the local community and he also got a reply let us see 
what the president has replied. Dear Prem, we are happy about the love you have shown towards nature. Your request for not cutting down the trees in the forest has been accepted. We have decided not to cut down the trees in the forest. Now, the plants, animals and birds will be safe. So, Prem is very lucky because he got a very positive reply saying that they are very happy about the concern he has for nature and they have accepted his reply request to not cut down the trees. So while it may not always be the case that we get a positive response in our first trial, the important thing to do is that we do not give up. If Prem and his friend Nisreen had given up in the beginning, then they would not have been able to stop the trees from being cut down. Now because they tried and tried and got help from their friends and family, they were successful and the trees, animals and birds were safe. You may, be, you may give this good news to all your friends and villagers. So this is the format of the letter. It starts with the greeting, dear Prem, and it ends with the salutation saying, yours sincerely, Srimati Rukmini Ramaya, President of Grama Sabha. So the President, she has replied and she has given the good news. That evening, Prem went back to the village and assured the villagers that nothing would happen to the forest and the animals. So, he is doing a responsible thing here. That is, only when he needed the help, he did not go to them. He is also going to them when there is good news to share. So, he is assuring all the stakeholders that the forest is safe. That is the end of the story. Let us consider the words to know. The first word is printing, that is running very fast. So here are the deer, it ran towards Prem and his friend Nisreen. Authority. Authority are people who have power. In this case, the Grama Sabha was the concerned authority. Complain. Complain is to express dissatisfaction about something. So Prem complained about the deforestation that was about to happen. Delighted. Delighted is to be very happy. The next word is appreciate. Appreciate is to praise. So try to find out where in the lesson you have seen all these words. That way you will get example situations and context to use the words. Now let us try to answer the first vocabulary section. V1, find one word for each of the following from the lesson. So to answer this, we need to go through the lesson and try to find one word that have these descriptions. The first one is a place where wild animals live. So this should be an easy solution for you all. What do we call the place where all the wild animals live? The answer is forest. The next question is a thing or person liked very much. So there are two possible solutions for this question. Remember when Nasreen and Prem go to forest, they walk to their most favorite place. And the other word we have over here, Prem loved trees, birds, animals and forests. So the other word you can choose is loved. The two possible words for our answer to this question are favorite and loved. You can write either one or okay so these are the words for question number two. The next phrase you need to find a word for is to come back. This one we have also read in our previous lessons. The answer is to return. Next, to write back. So when Prem writes a letter to the president of Grama Sabha, she writes back. You can also say she replied. So replied. Whenever you are writing the past tense of it, it is R-E-P-L-I-E-D. Finally, you need to find a word for where there is no danger. So, where there is no danger, you can say that it is safe. 
where did we uh, find this word in the lesson is the vice the president says that the plants animals and birds will be safe safe is out of danger so that is the end of v1 now let us try v2 to find the answer to v2 we need to rearrange the letters to get names of different trees first one is k o a think about it for a little while and then check the solutions so the tree with these letters is the oak tree so this is what an oak tree looks like you can see that it is a very big massive tree and it is primarily used for its wood so the answer to the first one is oak look the second one here we have two bees so you may be able to guess the answer is bamboo bamboo is also another very useful tree it grows in bushes and we can use bamboo for making a number of things like ladders and even utensils this is a bamboo tree the next question is m a l p when you rearrange them you will get palm palm trees are also very versatile in their use and you can use different regions of the palm tree for example you can get palm oil the seeds are also edible and are used in variety of dishes so this is a palm tree next we have m e n e this is an indian tree its neem so you may know that we use neem for a number of purposes even during festivals we use neems and neem is said to have antibiotic properties so here we have neem it, it is used as a medicine in india next tree is e p i n this is pine so pine is a very tall tree that grows in coniferous forest so this is a pine tree observe how big it is finally we have a very long word this may confuse you at first but this is eucalyptus okay so this is eucalyptus eucalyptus trees are also known as nilgiri trees and they grow in the hilly regions of south india this is an example of nilgiri tree so you can get eucalyptus oil from these trees okay students so that is the end of the vocabulary section now let us try and solve the comprehension section whenever you have a question try to answer it first only then check the solution the first question is where did prem and his family live so where did they live try to recall from the lesson Prem and his family lived in a village near Bandipur. The second question is why was Prem sad? We learned during our lesson that Prem one day came back home looking sad. What was the reason behind that? Can you recall? Prem had heard the trees in that forest would soon be cut down. So he was sad. So this is the word da Prem had heard the trees in the forest would be soon cut down so he was sad next question is what did prem and his friend nasreen do to solve the problem so what did they do if you can recall they go to the forest and they meet the deer and they get to know that the animals are sad because the trees are going to be cut down then what did they do Prem and Nisreen approached the authorities concerned to stop the cutting down of trees. So their plan was to talk to the authorities concerned to stop the cutting down of trees. The next question is whom did they write the letter to? So now that they have decided to stop the cutting down of trees by letter sending a letter to the authorities, whom did they send the letter to? Prem's mother helped helped him out, out in this one. so prem wrote the letter to the president of gram sabha they wrote the letter to the president of gram sabha 
And what was the complaint about? The complaint was about the trees in the forest that were to be cut down. So this was what the complaint was about. Next, who signed the complaint? So we talked about this when I introduced the word stakeholders to all of you. So the people that would get affected once the forest was cut down signed the complaint. Who were those people? Prem and his parents, their friends, people of the local community and residents of nearby villages. This is villages. They all signed the complaint. Final question. What did the president of Gramasava write back to Prem? So what was the reply he got from the president? The president of Gramasava wrote back that Prem's request for not cutting down trees in the forest had been accepted. So she writes back to him and says that his request to save the trees has been accepted. Now, let us move on to C2. Discuss with your friends and answer the following questions in four to six sentences each. First one, describe Prem's love for the forest and the animals. So, as usual, try to recall point by point and then form a complete answer out of it. You can pause the video and then replay it if you want. The answer that I am giving is, here we go. Prem lived with his parents in a small village near Bandipur forest. He had the good habit of taking an evening walk in the forest. He became friendly with the animals and birds in the forest. When he heard that many trees in the forest would be cut down, he became sad and worried about the plants and animals. He was able to understand the feelings of Hira the deer when it was sad. And because of his love for animals, Prem complained to the authorities and got them to stop cutting down, stop the cutting down of forest trees. So if you all feel like this is too long, you can do one thing. You can cut short these two sentences and you can just form an answer from here. You can say Prem was friendly with the animals and birds in the forest. Okay, so you can have an answer, a complete answer that is this much. Now let us look at the second question. How did the president of Grama Sabha praise Prem? So how does she praise him? The president of Grama Sabha was happy about the love Prem had shown towards nature. She accepted his request for not cutting down trees in the forest and decided not to cut down the trees in the forest. She praised Prem. Okay, this is incorrect. She praised Prem because of his efforts, animals and birds would be safe. So she praised him because, because of his efforts, animals and birds should be same. So this is a rare instance where you, you can add two becauses consecutively. So observe how they are giving different meaning. She praised Prem because... So why did she praise Prem? That is one because. The second because is saying because of his efforts, animals and birds would be safe. So this is the answer for second one. Now the last one. What do you learn from this lesson? So what can we learn from this lesson? We can learn that we should not cut down trees in forests and we have to save the plants, animals and birds. So that is the first lesson. We need to save the trees. Next, also we can learn that whenever we are worried about anything, we need to approach the problem in a systematic manner and arrive at a solution. So like Prem and Nasreen approached the problem in a systematic manner. First, they collected information from the forest. Then they took the help of elders and arrived at the solution. Similarly, we also need to approach any problem in a systematic manner. 
So, these are the two lessons that we can learn from this chapter. Next, let us move on to the next section. Language exercises. Give the plural form of the following words. Here are the words that we need to give the plural form of. Take your time and write the plural form of all of them. Then check the solutions. So here I have given the solutions. The plural form of the word dear is not dears. It is dear. There is no need to add the S in the end. However, in rare cases, when there is multiple types of deer, say there is a brown deer and a white deer, then you can say there are deers. Okay, but the usual plural form of the word deer is deer itself. Second one, forest is forest. Friend, friends. Authority is authorities. And community, the plural form is communities. Observe that whenever a word ends with Y, the plural form usually you need to remove the Y and add IES. So this is the answer for L1. Now, let us go to L2. Rewrite the following sentences using plural forms of the underlined words. Observe the changes in the words. First one, where will the animal go if there are no trees? So, we need to write where will the animals go. The deer came sprinting to him. The deer came sprinting to him. Before we do that, let us consider this underlined word trees because this it's already in its plural form. No need for us to add or delete anything here. The deer came sprinting towards him. The plural form of the word deer like we just learnt is deer itself and instead of him you can say them. If there is more than one boy or there are multiple children you can say them. Next, I have good habits. You can write we have good habits. The plural form of habits it's already in its plural form. Fourth one. The community that lived near the forest signed it. So instead of community, we can write communities that lived near the forest. We can make this forest signed it. I appreciate your love for animal and bird. So I becomes we appreciate your love for animals and birds. Okay, so that is the end of L2. Now, it's speaking time. Sit in pairs and discuss about your favorite animal and why you like it. So, this is an exercise for you all. In order for you to hold a smooth conversation in any language, it's important that you practice. So, here is one such practice exercise. Talk about your favorite animal and why you like it. You could begin like this. My favorite animal is the lion. It is the king of the forest and so on. You can talk about the color, the size and what it looks like, what it eats, where it lives and why you like it so much. So these are some of the cues for you to complete this exercise. Next, speech sounds. Listen to your teacher not pronouncing some letters in the given words. Such letters are silent letters. The first word is iron. The way you pronounce it is it's not iron, it's iron. Okay, it's iron. R is silent here. Next is should. Observe that we don't say should. So L is silent. Similarly, it's could and would. Again, L is silent in both of these words. Next, we have no. We don't say we don't say K here. We don't say K now. It's no. So the K is silent here. Then it's knife, knee. Both of these have silent Ks. Finally, it's coom. The B is silent. Whenever word is ending with MB, usually the B is silent. Which letters are not pronounced in the above list of words? So we have already um, 
circled around the letters that are not pronounced. List some more words that have silent letters in them. So try to make a list of some more words which have silent letters. Let me just give you a couple of examples. Here we have honest. The H, the beginning H is silent. It's honest. Another word is crumb. Because it ends with MB, the B is silent. It's crumb. Similarly, you can find out more words and add on to this list. Okay, students, this is the end of the lesson, The Boy Who Saved the Forest. I will see you all in the next video.